we're just having a lovely peaceful day in Equestria as we do and then bad stuff happens and then um, uh, somebody has to save the day and it's usually Twilight and she gets a, an extraordinary helping hand particularly from uh, Pinkie Pie. Uh, now I just wanted to say that there should have been more Granny Smith in this story because I, I could have saved Equestria single-handed. I could have got my, my, my best teeth and hoiked them at them at the bad guys, the bad ponies. But uh, I wouldn't ask. It's funny that people think that Rarity is a drama queen and that she's of no help. I mean, um, <clears throat> it's very, very hard when you're on a quest to keep your main, um, in good order, in good fettle. Um, and so I think Rarity does really, really well. I mean, she's right in there and she's sacrificing all kinds of follicular, um, meticulousness for the sake of this quest. <clears throat> so I think she's quite heroic and really the central figure if you study the story hard of the story. Now's a great time to turn this into a feature film from a series because it has such a massive audience. Um, it's got um, appeal for little kids. Um, kids watch it with their parents and their parents get hooked. It's not just little girls, it's little boys, it's big boys, it's big girls. It's like right across the board, people love it. So there's very much a demand for <clears throat> more, more, bigger, better, faster, lovelier. <laughs> The show is very popular, I think, um, because it has, you know, a, a lot of embedded messages about sort of acceptance and the the main characters are all so different and they all kind of sort of, uh, they just sort of powerfully go after being themselves and that leads them into conflict sometimes, but that's the sort of essence of, of friendship is, is to, you know, just be yourself and be accepting of others being themselves at the same time. Um, <clears throat> and this is sort of, um, it's, a, it's a life lesson for uh, Twilight and it's a life lesson for Pinky, um, who are the protagonists of the, this um, film. Uh, you know, and for Twilight it's, it's to be able to accept help because she's always trying to do, trying to muscle it all herself and you don't need to because there's all kinds of support for you in the world. Usually our episodes are within Equestria or Cantalot or Manhattan and you know areas that we know uh, and we're actually going um, with this we're going under the water and into the sky so we, we were, we're plumbing the the universe of Equestria and adding bits that we haven't seen before so there's there's a real visual um, uh, there's an can you say eye feast there's an eye feast <laughs> I think audiences are really going to want to come and see this movie because we just have um, so much more color, so much more world to live in. If you ever sat through an episode of My Little Pony and just wished it was, you could just walk into it, this is that immersive experience. So I think audiences are going to be like, yes, please, throw hoof. <laughs>